Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. But if you did, that'd be pretty cool too. Okay, so uh, yesterday I did a haul video, um, and this is sort of like the second part of that because I ultimately ended up getting 16 movies for the price of $3, basically $1 for every five at my local library. And, and then uh, I also had like a little gift card or whatever for a free book or movie or whatever it is. So I had a bunch of westerns, so yesterday's video was all about the westerns that I got that day. And then the remaining six are just various other films. Got some Blu-rays in here and then some standard DVDs, but let's take a look at what we picked up. I'll start with the, uh, what are we going to start with? Let's start with the DVDs. Okay, here we go. So this first one was actually for my wife. My wife is a big X-Files fan and a big fan of David Duchovny. So I uh, picked up this here. This was a library copy and it's called Louder Than Words. I know absolutely nothing about it uh, except David Duchovny's in it because there he is on the cover. Um, right here, um, is that, uh, the, who's this person right here? Hope Davis. Um, anyway, this person, I just, has been on episodes of Succession lately. And then it also says Timothy Hutton is, uh, in it, who won Best Supporting Actor for, uh, Ordinary People. Yeah, supporting. I was gonna say, wait a second, he's the lead, but that's, that's the thing about it. <laughs> uh, he was too young. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know anything about this. I haven't even read the back, but... Uh, I showed it to my wife and I was like, hey, do you have this one? Because she has a lot of David Duchovny movies. And she's like, you know what? We don't have that one. Let's get it. So we got it. Is it good? Is it, is it worth having? All right. Next we have, um, this one's actually a mini series. I have a lot of Stephen King in my collection, but I do not have this one. This is Storm of the Century. And I'm not sure how many episodes this mini series was. In total here, we have 256 minutes of show. Uh, I don't even know who is in it. I haven't really looked at any of that. I just saw Stephen King's name there at the top and was like, this is something I want to add because, you know, in October, it's 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 spooky season. It's Stephen King season. So we like to put on some of his miniseries uh, in the background, like we've watched The Shining miniseries. We've watched Tommy Knockers. Um, and then, you know, I think this would be a good one. And uh, I actually, I'm embarrassed to say this, but the original It, I have not watched that. I do have it, and I've had it for a very long time, but still haven't watched it. Um, so, yeah, I have quite a few of his mini uh, but not, what's the other one? The Stand. Um, but I, this one was new to me, so figured I'd pick it up. And it has commentary by Stephen King. That's what that says right there. Sorry about the blur. But, um, yeah. And it's all on a single disc, that type that you flip. All right, and this is the final DVD, not the final movie, the rest are Blu-ray. Uh, so this is Career Opportunities. And I can't remember who, but somebody in the comments section, it might have been, it was either AJ's Movie Place or um, I'm thinking maybe The Good, The Bad, and The Okay. But I can't say for sure. One of those two channels... Um, commented on one of my videos either about John Hughes, this is a John Hughes movie, or maybe we were talking about Jennifer Connelly, and this was brought up, and I was like, I don't even think I know what that is. Um, if I if I got who told me incorrect, I apologize. Um, if you remember who you are, let me know in the comments below, because I, I truly can't remember who it was that was telling me about this movie. I honestly don't even remember if it was a recommendation or if it was a steer clear, but I remembered the title and that it was a John Hughes movie and that Jennifer Connelly was in it. And then I was like, oh, okay, hey, I remember this. I talked about this with somebody in the comments. I'm gonna get it. Uh, so yeah, really excited about that. Jennifer Connelly, I feel like she's sort of having a semi moment again right now because of Top Gun and uh, everybody's just like excited to see her. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's she's been around forever and uh, been, making, been making movies for a long time. Uh, it's funny because uh, I, I actually, I don't know how many movies, but I feel like she's always working with Ed Harris. Top Gun 2, Pollock, um, Beautiful Mind. I mean, she's they're, they're in a lot of movies together. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's only three. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't remember what this is about, but, uh, from, you know, other than looking it up after talking 
uh, about it in the comments, but uh, I'm glad to add it to the collection. It is a John Hughes movie that I have never seen, and I'm excited to finally give it a watch. And again, I don't remember if this was a recommendation, or if it was a steer clear, or if it was just merely brought up with, with no opinion attached to it. Okay, so next we have Aeon Flux. I used to watch the cartoon when I was a kid on Liquid Television on MTV, but I never watched this movie. So it's about time I did. Here we have Charlize Theron playing the main character. Who else do we got in there? I don't know if I can tell who these other people are. Um, gosh, do I know any of these names? I don't know if I do. Oh, Francis McDormand's in it. Oh, what? Pete Postlethwaite? So this was made that long ago? Because I, I don't know. To me, this feels like still a semi-recent movie. But Pete Postlethwaite, I thought his last movie was The Town. This was made before The Town? Or am I completely wrong? Is that not his last movie? But anyway, uh, that's really cool that Pete Postlethwaite's in this. Now I want to watch it even more. He's great. Um... Yeah, I, I know the cartoon, grew up watching that, and still haven't seen the movie, so I'm excited to see that. So, there we go. Next, we have, and this is a library copy here. This was the free one that I got. My friends used to play World of Warcraft all the time, and I would watch them play it. I had a good time watching them play it, and I was like, you know... The, this movie, when it came out, I was like, this is like old. I feel like the time has passed. I used to watch my friends play this. None of them play it anymore. Why did they wait so long to make this movie? It should have come out so much earlier than it did. This was directed by Duncan Jones. Uh, you may know Duncan Jones from directing the movie Moon um, with, with Sam Rockwell. I remembered his name. I'm always forgetting his name. Um, and Duncan Jones is also David Bowie's son. So yeah, David Bowie's son directed this. Um, but I have not seen it. It got past me, and a lot of that's just because my friends kind of stopped being into this type of stuff, or, you know, as, as devoted to it as, as they used to be. So I, I didn't see it at all. Um, but, you know, eventually I'll, I'll get to watching this. Yeah, Warcraft. Glad to add it. Uh, next we have one um, that I haven't seen in a long time and honestly I don't remember much of it and I think I remember just being kind of okay on it like I wasn't in love with it but it was just like okay but uh, that is Oblivion with Tom Cruise and honestly I, I think I'm pretty sure I saw this in the theater and I had no memory that Morgan Freeman was in it and I sort of get this movie mixed up with um, a, a similar movie maybe gosh what's his uh matt damon was in some sort of movie where there was like a a, a a ring in the sky like a ring space station a ring earth in the in the outer space or something so like i don't know like i know there's two separate movies but there's something about the two of them that i like blend in my mind which makes me have a tough time remembering anything about Oblivion. So I really do want to watch this again. Okay, yeah, I remember that little like sphere thing that he was in. That's familiar. But not much is ringing a bell, so this definitely deserves a rewatch, especially because like Tom Cruise has just been knocking it out of the park. And this um this film I I don't know if I was like tired of him at the time or what but I don't know I just remember think watching this movie and being like eh not really for me is that how kind of everybody felt on this one but yeah this one has the blu-ray has a bonus disc has dvd has a digital copy um I wonder what that bonus disc is what's it say there what is a boat this is a DVD. Is this like special features or something? Yeah. Okay. I think it's special features on a separate disc. Um, but or is that just the same thing? No? Okay. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. 
um, sometimes I just start reading the back of the back of, of the movie while I'm showing these off. Try and figure out what that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's uh, special features. Yeah. But yeah, Oblivion. I don't know. After Top Gun, really enjoying Top Gun. Kind of makes me want to watch this because it didn't work for me at the time. But maybe it will now. Sometimes you got to give some movies some time. Also, you know, we're all kind of high on Tom Cruise right now. Uh, the things he's doing for cinema, the, the stunts he's doing for cinema. And it's all very exciting. So maybe going back and watching this now with a better attitude, uh, I might like it. So, there we go. There are the movies. Right there. Oblivion, Warcraft, Aeon Flux, Career Opportunities, Storm of the Century, and Louder Than Words. Do you know these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. That below, Did I pick up some winners? Did I pick up some duds? I don't know. But you can, you can, help, you can help, me, help me know. <laughs> what did I do here? Did I waste money? Did I waste a whole dollar on these six movies? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.